What's up, guys? It's your boy Chance. Um, I have something I want to speak about. I have something I want to talk to y'all about. And it's something that I don't think any of you really realize. And this song has been on my mind for it's been on my mind for quite some time now. And like and this is something I've been noticing and everything. And that is why it's so hard for me to make a living selling my artwork or anything. And like this isn't aimed at those that do actually try. This is actually aimed at those that sit there and say one, one thing and do another. As well as those that have stolen my artwork in the past. You see, the reason why it's hard for me to make a living off my artwork is because of liars. Liars that sit there and say that they want to buy my artwork so bad. And that they're, they've saved up the money for it. They want to buy it. And then what do they do? They lie to my face. They sit there and say, oh, I'll buy your work. And then what do they do? Two seconds later, they fucking spend their money on something else. And the same motherfuckers that sit there and say that I need to be making a living off of what I do are the same motherfuckers that want everything free. And what you son of bitches don't realize is how much time and effort I actually put into my artwork. Yeah, I might put a lot of effort into my music, but I put even more effort into my art. I've been drawing since I was four years old. Art is in my blood. My great-great-grandmother drew. She actually self-published and released a book with her own hand-drawn artwork in it. My cousins draw. My older sister Sally Ann draws. So art is in my blood. Drawing, painting, that's in my blood. I want to show y'all something. Something that you guys may not realize or remember. I've gained the respect of major people through my artwork. And I mean very major people. Like this man right here who one of my fans is awesome enough to send me this, um, this post as a picture which is getting framed. And as soon as I can get my office slash bedroom back in order this game framed up but if you guys remember on december 26th of last year um jason david frank aka tommy from power rangers had announced his character as valiant's bloodshot for the series through Valiant, which I've been watching the show, amazing show, love it. But somebody who's awesome enough to take the post of the comic character Bloodshot that I created for him as a fan, just as a pure fan, with his comment and sent it to me. And as you guys see right there, nice artwork. I gained the respect of major actor Jason David Frank through my artwork. I've gained the respect of a lot of people like him through my art because I bust my ass 
and everything I do. So while all you motherfuckers out there that are getting all these silver play buttons for, you know, 100,000 views or diamond play buttons for all these views, while y'all are doing that shit, I'm sitting here busting my ass, gaining respect of people like this. Real people who enjoy my work and support my work. And this is a constant reminder of why I do my art. But what you guys is, that are saying they're saying that I need to be making a living and want free stuff, what you guys don't realize is the time and the effort that I take in the putting out the best artwork that I can. There are some pieces that take me a couple hours. There are some of my best pieces in the world that take me days, weeks, sometimes months just to do. And why? Because I believe in putting out nothing but the best artwork. And you sit there and say you want to make a living off of what I do. You sit there and say it. And yet you turn around and want free shit. Like, I don't get it. It's motherfuckers like you guys that make it hard for me to make a living. On top of the idiots that want to steal my artwork and claim it as their own, and then me having to go back and steal it back. I've been putting up with art thieves for most of my life since I started you know, doing digital artwork. And that's why I became so afraid of putting out my truly best artwork. Because people stealing it, putting it on their DeviantArt and laying claim to it and this and that and da da da. Well, no more. I'm tired of hiding my true best art. I'm sick and tired of hiding my best from the world who deserves to see it. And I'm sick to death and tired of people sitting there saying that they're going to buy my stuff and they never do. They'd rather, you know, spend their money on drugs, weed, beer, you know, dumb shit. Like, you guys really don't understand the painstaking effort that I put into every fucking piece. The time, the effort that I take out of my day to bust my ass doing what I love as an artist. Yeah, I do music with my brothers, Ian and Eric on the side, along with my brother, Aiden, a.k.a. Young Fox. I do that, I do that shit on the side. I'm not afraid to admit that. I've been doing it for years. But my job, my living, my job is an artist. And my living, my life as an artist my life's work depends on sales. My life's work depends on you guys buying my stuff. Because the more you guys buy my stuff, the more exposure I get, which allows me to put out more work for you guys. Every day, I bust my ass, putting out old artwork that I'm bringing back from the past, new artwork that I'm every day. And I'm tired of going unappreciated for what I do. Especially when I bust my ass doing it. I mean, you guys sit there and are always like, oh, you know, somebody will buy your stuff and this and that. Dude, stop fucking lying. I 
Let me tell you something. The only reason why nobody's buying my shit is because everybody wants everything from me for fucking free. And I'm tired of being taken advantage of. I really am tired of it. Because, you know, I bust my ass on my artwork every day of my life. I've been doing it since I was four years old. Most of the, I've been doing art longer than most of y'all motherfuckers have been alive. And what set me off to do this live stream is an email I got earlier today on my art site into my actual email saying that I'm a fake, that I'm stealing art from other people, that I'm recreating original pieces. No, the fuck I'm not. My artwork is my own artwork. And anybody with half a fucking brain can tell you the same shit. My own mother, my own mom, my own family, my own sister has seen me do these amazing drawings firsthand. These amazing paintings that would normally take people years I'm doing within a matter of like hours, within a couple of days, even a couple of months, depending on what piece it is. I am sick to death and tired of people taking advantage of me when I'm trying to make a living doing what I love to do as an artist. Yeah, I might not have that many views on YouTube. But I don't give a fuck about the views. What I give a fuck about is making sales and doing what I love to do as an artist. I'm done doing free shit. Yeah, I might do discounts on holidays and stuff like that or on someone's birthday. That's fine. I have no problem with that. But the free artwork stops. The stealing my artwork and claiming it as your guys' own stops I am sick to death and tired of being lied to every day I get told by people oh I'll buy your artwork when I get the money and then as soon as I get the money they don't buy it they turn around spend it on dumb shit and you guys don't know how stressful that is to me because that makes me feel like my work that I, the hard work that I'm putting out isn't worth it. Every day I get told my artwork needs to be put in the galleries, like actual live galleries. I get told that every fucking day. But here's what you don't realize. If you guys truly want my artwork to be in galleries, buy my shit off my site. And then what I can do is I can save up the to have that shit printed out on the canvases and put in art galleries so that people out there in the real world and around here that don't know about my work can see my work and buy my work. But no. Y'all would rather fucking spend your money on dumb shit like weed, cigarettes, alcohol, gambling. It's fucking stupid. You know, I busted my ass putting together that site from the ground up. That site took me four fucking hours to do from the ground up. Four fucking hours of busting my ass on that art site. And then another 13 to 14 hours doing all the artwork, finding all the artwork that I had and putting it up. And that's not even counting the traditional Japanese background music. That took another hour and a half to do that. See, you guys don't realize just how hard I work every day on my art. 
from the time I wake up, from the time I go to bed, I'm always constantly working on something artwork-wise. Whether it's an abstract art piece, whether it's a scenery piece, whether it's a portrait, no matter what it is, I'm always doing art. My artwork is my livelihood. My artwork is my job. And if you expect me to make any money doing it, Help me get some customers. Help me get people that will actually buy my work right then and there. I'm tired of being jerked around. I know it might sound like I'm complaining, but really I'm not complaining or bitching. I'm tired of being lied to, and I'm tired of being taken advantage of. And I'm tired of people laying claim to my artwork that they did not do, that everybody knows damn good and well that I did. I'm not bitching or complaining. I'm standing up for myself and standing up for my artwork. Enough is enough. Like, if you don't have the money to buy the work, just tell me. I'll understand. But at least, the least you can do is to help me get customers that actually will buy my work. That you know will be like, hey, I want to buy that. Let me buy that right now. I don't care how much it is. Yeah, some of the items in the shop may be a little bit expensive, but you know what? It's worth it. The artwork is worth it. You know, to you guys, it might not seem like, you know, a piece that took me two, three days to do is worth 40 to 50 bucks. But let me tell you, it is worth it. Because let me tell you something. There's a lot of people out there that know my work, that see my work, that love my work. And this is just something that I've been kind of noticing lately through my social medias for my art. There's a lot of people out there calling me the modern day Van Gogh because I use his painting style in a way that nobody else does. And you have no idea how honored I am to be told that. To be compared to one of my favorite artists growing up. All right. I used to see Vincent Van Gogh's work all the time as a kid growing up in galleries, on fucking buses, trains, everywhere. The man was a fucking genius, one of the best. And for me to be compared to someone like him, Do you have any idea how big of an honor that is? To be compared to one of the most famous painters in the world of all time? All I'm saying is that if you're going to buy my artwork, buy my artwork. If not, that's whatever. But at least direct the site to somebody that you know damn good and well will actually for real buy the artwork. Because I have a little bit of everything from every, for everybody. I have floral work. I have you know, scenery. I have abstract pieces. I have character designs. I have fucking portrait pieces. And yet, what do I get? Slapped in the face with no sales every day when I bust my ass. You guys really don't understand the time and effort I take out of my day and my time to put out the best artwork that I can. And yet, what does it get tossed aside like it doesn't even matter? Like, oh, this person's doing artwork. That's nice. Nobody's going to buy it. Move on.
Like, is my artwork not good enough? Like, am I sitting here wasting my time doing what I love to do? Because honestly, that's what it seems like. It seems like I'm wasting my time because of you motherfuckers that sit there and say one thing and do another. And y'all wonder why I want to quit half the time? Why I want to give up? There's a reason. There's a very good reason. I am tired of being taken for granted. I'm tired of my artwork just being pushed aside like it don't matter. Especially when I bust my ass. It's fucking sickening and it's stupid. And dude, I'm thinking, if you go to my site, I have all kinds of social media. I have Tumblr, I have Twitter, I have Instagram, I have YouTube. I have DeviantArt, I have ArtStation. Hell, I even have a fucking blog spot. Which, let's face it, nobody really uses Blogspot these days. But I have it just in case. But yet, what do I get? Thrown to the side. And every day I get asked by people who enjoy my work, why am I not making any money? There's a reason. Because nobody wants to take the time out of their day to spend 30, 40, 50 bucks on a really good and unique and one-of-a-kind art piece that nobody else in the world can ever get their hands on. They'd rather get all that shit for free. Well, guess what, people? I don't do free. Not anymore. I may have back in the day, but all that stopped. If you really want my artwork, you pay for it. You really want to buy my artwork? You fucking go to my site link and you buy the motherfucking art. You buy whatever piece you want my art on. Do I tell you something? I have everything for you guys. I have fucking... I have canvas prints. I have metal prints. I have bags. I have phone cases. I have frame prints. I have digital prints. You name it. But yeah, what do I get for all my hard work? Not a damn red, not one red cent. Not one motherfucking red cent. Because every motherfucker I come across always wants it for free. Well, guess what, dude? You want free... Do it yourself. You want free art? Go to somebody that's willing to give it to you for free that don't give a fuck. And I'm sorry, but I actually care about my art. Every single piece of art that I do is special to me and unique to me in some way. And... I'm just so sick and tired of being taken advantage of. I'm tired of my shit being taken for granted. Because everybody wants free shit when I don't do free stuff anymore. I never have and I never will do it anymore. Definitely will do, Flaco. Thank you, brother. If you guys don't know, Flaco is actually a very good friend of mine who I actually met a while back through YouTube and a couple other sites. So what up, Flake? Much love to you, my dude. But let me tell you guys something. Flaco here, along with very few others, is actually honoring us my stuff around and actually wants to see me succeed.
But let me let me just say this: for every art thief out there that has ever tried to steal my work and say that it's someone else's, all I have to say to you is you can kiss my fucking ass. I'm talking my truly best. I'm sick to death and tired of being afraid of posting up my own artwork that I've busted my ass on. But no more. No more living in fear. You want my artwork? You're going to have to fucking kill me for it first. And that's a fact. You want my artwork? You fucking put a gun to my head and my life and then take my art. Because that's the only way you're ever going to get your hands on it for free. I'm an artist. I deserve to make a living off of what I do. Especially with the hard work that my family sees me put into it every day nonstop. Let me tell you guys my schedule. This is my daily schedule every day from the time I wake up from the time I go to bed. I wake up about probably 5 o'clock, 6.30 in the morning. I wake up. I eat breakfast and help our roommate get ready for work. And then from there, I see what's on the news on TV. If nothing's good on, I go on to YouTube and watch some of my favorite artists. And then right after that, I'm painting all day from about 6 o'clock to about 9, 10 at night. Constantly painting every day, all day long. That's it. From the time I wake up, from the time I go to bed, I'm always doing something art. Always. And y'all sit there and wonder why I'm so tired a lot, like I am right now, which I'm sure you guys can tell that I'm tired because I'm opening and closing my eyes. That's because it takes a lot out of me. You guys think that doing art is easy? You guys think doing what I do is easy? It's not easy at all. It's really not. Hey, what up, Blake? Give me just a minute, brother, and I will pull that up for you, man. Oh yeah, look for, look for this, man. And this is for anybody that wants to follow me. Look, C. Wilkins Art Official. That's C-W-I-L-K-I-N-S-A-R-T Official. And you guys notice me looking down at my arm? This is why. Don't know what I did, but it hurts like a bitch. So I've been, you know, kind of resting that arm all day. But, like, you know, the point is, guys. Art is all I know. It's what I grew up doing as a kid. And it's what I'm going to die doing. Hell, to be honest with you, 
if I do die, I will not be surprised if I die with a pencil or something in my hand. I know you're wrong. I do enjoy doing music. I enjoy it a lot. But I enjoy doing my art even more because it's a stress reliever. It allows me to be as creative. It allows me to be more creative than I can with my music by a long shot. Because through my art, I can create other worlds. I can create things that you can only imagine. I can't do that with my music. Sure, I can save lives. Don't get me wrong. Every life I save means something to me. It really does. But my art, that's my livelihood. That's my living. That's my job. That's my life's work. And I'm tired of being taken for granted. I'm tired of you guys not realizing just how much hard work I put in my art every single day of my life. I'm tired of it. But I hope you guys see now just how hard I work. Because my life is not easy by any means. Well, with that being said, y'all, I'm about to hop off here, crash the night, and I'll see you guys later. And Blako, message me, and I will send you the link to my site. Peace, guys. And like I said, I hope you guys now see just how hard, how much hard work I put into my stuff every day. Because I put in a lot more than most.